All right, so in this problem, I need to find uh, the shear stress at point A. Now, in order to do that, what I need to do is use my transverse shear equation, which is going to be tau equals VQ over IT. Now, the tricky one here, the kind of the new thing to worry about is Q. And what Q is, is uh, the centroid and the area of the area above or below the point that I'm at. So what I'm looking at here is essentially this area right here. Okay, I want to find the centroid of that area and the area of that area uh, to figure out what Q is for this. So if I look at this, this is a circle, like so, right? My neutral axis going right through the middle, like that. Okay, and if I think about a infinitesimally thin, I'm going to break it up into dA, right? I'm going to, because I, I need to basically find out what dA equals, right? That's ultimately what I'm looking for. So I can find the total area, and it'll also help me find the um, centroid, uh, as we'll see in just a little bit. What I know is from the center of this guy out to this corner, that's going to be a fixed area of 2. That's the radius. So as I move up in some direction that I'm going to call y as I move up, right? That 2 is going to kind of rotate around and it'll be still 2 because it's from the center out to the edge and is the radius, right? So then this guy right here is again just some arbitrary y which makes this little piece of that infinitesimally small thing the square root of 2 squared which is 4 minus y squared like so, okay? And of course this guy has a thickness of dy. So the total distance crosses two of that radical, okay? So my dA then becomes two times four minus y squared, right? So that's the distance across and then the thickness of dy, okay? So if I want to find, again, the area above that, I just integrate this going from y equals one all the way up to y equals two. So the area then becomes the integral from 1 to 2 of 2 times 4 minus y squared dy. Doing that calculus, and I can find that the area, now this is the area from A upwards, right, from 1 up to 2 inches, is 2.457. Now, I need to find the centroid of that location as well. Okay, and that centroid of that area is just the integral of y tilde dA all over the integral of dA. Or that will be the total area, so the denominator will be that 2.457. The top will be the y location of the center of that. Well, what this is looking at, again, is, is this infinitesimally thin, so y tilde is the location of the centroid of that infinitesimally thin rectangle that I have there, which is going to be at a distance y. So this integral is going to be from y, or y times, again, 2 times that radical, 4 minus y squared dy. And the limits of this, again, will be from 1 to 2, again, because I want to find you know, the centroid of that area from 1 up to 2. So it's basically the same thing, just with a y out in front of it, which is the area of that now, or the center of that area. Now, again, the denominator is just the area which I just found. Okay, I'll let you go through the maths on your own, and I can find that the location of the centroid of that top piece is 1.41, which I think makes sense. It's got to be between 1 and 2. It's probably going to be a little bit less than half because most of the area is down, so 1.41 makes uh, some sense. So then that q then becomes... 1.41 times 2.457, which equals 3.464. Okay. Now, I can then go ahead and find the shear stress at this point, taking times the shear force, which is 30 kips, so 30,000 pounds times Q, which is 3.464, which would be inches cubed. 
divided by i, well, this is the moment of inertia of the entire area, which is pi over 4 times r to the 4th, so 2 to the 4th, okay, times t, which is the thickness, and that t is essentially the thickness at that point right there, right? That's going to be t. That's the thickness of that. So at that point, again, y equals 1, okay? So it's going to be 2 times the square root of 4 minus 1 squared, right? So that distance is actually going to be 3, right? And that's basically the width of it at point A, which is 1 inch up. So plugging all of that in, I can find that the shear stress at point A is 2.39 KSI. So the trickiest part here is finding Q. And again, Q is you at the point that it's located, either above or below. Okay, yeah, I, I find the area, find the centroid either above and below, multiply them together, and that is what Q is in order to find the shear stress at that uh, precise point.